This is the 2016 AP Physics 1 free response question number 5. So the first part of this question is asking why does the tension at point P greater than the tension at point Q? So notice the tension is coming from the weight of the rope. So the rope is pulling down and uh, the weight of the rope is pulling down and then there's going to be tension going up. So notice in point P there's more weight below than there is above, so therefore compared to Q. So therefore there's going to be a greater tension. Okay, so again we could write it something like this. Tension comes from the weight of the rope and there is more tension below there is more weight, more rope below P than Q. Okay, therefore tension is greater. At P. Okay, all right. The second question is the students hypothesizing that as the tension goes up the speed goes up and we want to kind of explain why that's true why is um, why is tension or you know how does the visual prove this okay so kind of the governing equation for us is going to be our V equals F lambda so notice that the frequency is the same right Let's just start our oscillator and so if we can show that the wavelength is longer when the velocity. So if the wavelength goes up, the velocity goes up, and if the velocity goes up, if we can show that the tension is also higher, then that tells us, um, that proves it. So what you should notice here is that from here to here, if we go node to node, this is like half of a wavelength, right? This is like half of a wavelength, um, and we can call that what, what wavelength P maybe. And if we go from this node to node, we see that's half of a wavelength also, but this would be like wavelength at Q. And even notice here, it's getting smaller and smaller. So this could be one half of a wavelength at, I don't know, R, PQR. So notice as we go down the rope, the wavelength keeps getting shorter and shorter. If the wavelength's getting shorter and shorter, that means the velocity is getting shorter. And as we previously stated, the um, the tension is greater at the top, smaller at the bottom. So you can see the nice proportionality. So how do you write that out? I guess, you know, just write out what I said, I suppose. Um, uh, how would we write this? Well, something like, um, since, let's write it like this. So since frequency, uh, velocity is equal to frequency lambda and frequency is constant, then V is essentially directly proportional to lambda. So we can look at that relationship. Um, at the top of the rope, okay, the wavelength is longer. At the top of the rope, the wavelength is longer. Okay, and you may want to kind of do what I just did or something like that, or you can kind of sketch that out here. The wavelength is longer. Um, at the top of the rope, the wavelength is longer. So the velocity is faster at the top. Okay, wavelength is a lot longer, so the velocity is faster at the top. So therefore, this is consistent because the tension is greater at the top, as previously noted. Okay, and so that kind of proves, okay, yeah, as, a as the student said, as the tension goes up, the speed also goes up. Okay, so yes, so V is proportional to T. And in fact, you guys probably know that it's actually proportional to the square root of t if you look at the equation, but you didn't have to know that to kind of figure this problem out. 
All right, that's question number five.